we got this multi-power hard drive here. I, I'm pretty sure I already know what the outcome is. It's just gonna work off either one perfectly fine. But what I'm gonna try, since I mean, uh, this is just kind of extra little computer, and I don't even know if this works. I'm gonna plug both power in, see if the drive registers, and I'm gonna unplug one and see if it stays on. I'm gonna unplug one, plug it back in, plug the other one, see what it does. Just as a disclaimer, uh, if you plan on actually using this hardware, I wouldn't recommend doing this. This could possibly damage both the hard drive and the computer, but these are just extra things. So, uh, where do we go? It's spinning, I feel it spinning. All right, we'll get it booted up and uh, see where we're at. All right, we're in Windows, but I gotta give this thing a drive letter apparently. Fun. Uh, it does register properly. 74.5 gig, but yeah, I guess it's unformatted right now. Give me a few minutes, we'll put a drive letter on there and then I'll unplug the power cables. All righty, we got her as the G drive. I'm going to start moving a file and then unplug power cables. There it goes. Disk usage. Molex. It's still spinning. It's Still transferring. Just let it plug that back in. If I can do it. Mm -hmm. I think it's in. Make sure. Okay, we're in. Still transferring. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, they're just hard linked. Still feel it spinning, hauling. Interesting. Hmm. That's right here. Kind of minimal. Cool. So there you go. They are just linked internally. Uh, there's no switching. Just almost like a like a fail safe a little bit. If you hook up both. I do believe these came out uh, around the time of uh, the appearance of SATA, so this was something you could use to upgrade a computer or crossover compatibility, blah blah blah. Only 80 gigs. Still works though. There you go. There's your answer. Linked ports.